All right, we're going to look at how to read in data from a file. So I have a basic template program here, and when it compiles, it's going to run in this directory right here. And so I've already pre-populated a file right here, numbers 1 through 10. And so I wanted to read in these numbers in this numbers.txt file and then display the sum and the number of numbers it reads in, read in. So first I want to, because I'm reading a file, I want to include the fstream library. Next, I want to create some integers to keep track of the numbers I read in. So int, so I have a count, and I'm going to start that as a zero, and I've got an int sum, and I'm going to start that with a zero also. And then I'm going to int num for the number I'm going to be reading in. The next thing I want to do is open the file. So I can do it a couple different ways. I need an if stream, and this is part of the standard, so std, I have stream, and I can open it directly in one line. So I'll call this file in. So my file handle would be file in, and it's numbers.txt. I can do it like this, or if I want, I can declare it separately, um, file in, and then open it later like this and then pass it the name so either one works um, I'm gonna go ahead and open it the first way because it's just shorter less code now if it successfully opens then I want to say something or do something so if uh, file in is open then I can do some stuff otherwise I might want to have an error message and say something like see out could not open file and then just kind of end that all right so once I do open the file, I want to be able to add everything up. So I'll do a, a do while loop here. So do, and what do I want to do? I want to read in each line one at a time, or each number one at a time. And so that's file in. So it's just like cn, and I want to read it in to my num. Now if it reads in correctly, then file in should not have an error right so i can do an if statement here also if file in i'll do a not if not file in dot fail if it didn't fail then i want to keep track of things so i want to update my count so count plus plus and i also want to update my sum so sum plus equals num but if it did fail then i want to break out of my loop so this one would be while file in fail so while it's not a fail while it's not a fail i want to continue reading in data and so what it'll do is it'll go through and it will go grab each line one at a time. Um, if it doesn't fail, it's going to add to the count and also the sum. And then when it's done, it will end. And after the file has finished reading in, the next thing I want to do is close the file. So I can do a file in close. It's important to close files if you plan on opening them again, especially if you're reading to a, reading from a file and then writing back out to that file. You want to make sure you can close it and get that out of the way. At this point, we know we should have succeeded and we can display our counts. So, so I do a standard C out and I can say count and display the count. 
and then I can have it display the sum as well. So, so. all right, and then it should end the loop and it should be done. All right, so assuming we did everything correctly here, it should open up the file. It should check to see the file is open. The file will be open. It should read the file, figure out if it failed or not, just like using the CN fails. And uh, as long as it didn't fail, then it should add to the count. And if it did fail, then it's going to exit out of the while loop or the do while loop. And then it will close the file and display our numbers. So go ahead and run the code. And it says could not open the file. So then you look at it and say, okay, why did it not open the file? It's numbers.txt. We check to see, is that the name of the file? It is numbers.txt. Oh, and I want to put this not in that directory. Actually, I want to put it in the build debug directory. So put it right here. And then I go ahead and run this again. And this time it does correctly read it. So it's going count of 10 and a sum of 55. Now, if you're building it, you want to make sure you figure out where it actually builds it. But this will show you basically how to do it. So you can read files in.